So today we're going to be taking a look at the VH skates. But before we do that, I thought it would be a great idea to give you a little bit of history about how the skates were produced. Now a lot of you are familiar with a guy called Dave Cruikshank, um, alongside uh, Scott Van Horn were the creators of the MLX skate. Now a lot of you might be aware that Dave Cruikshank, before he uh, went into skate production, he was an Olympic uh, speed skater. And the entire time that he was a speed skater, he's, the, the whole way through his career, the skates that he used were VH skates produced by Scott Van Horn. So now that Scott Van Horn has manufactured an ice hockey skate, we're going to be taking a look at it and telling you exactly what makes it different from all of the other skates that are on the market. So my first impression using the VH skates, the first thing that I noticed was definitely going to be the weight. I remember a funny conversation I had with my girlfriend um, the night I brought the skates home. After I finished on the ice, I left them in the kitchen drying, as you do, and she picked them up to move them from one place to another because they were in the way. And the first thing that she said to me was, did I break something and is there a piece missing? Which is testament to the construction of these skates. So we're going to be taking a look at the skates to find out what makes them so incredibly light, but still maintains that strength that we need while we're on the ice. The carbon fibre used in the VH skates is aerospace grade. It also features custom formulated high performance epoxy resin. The carbon fibre strands in the VH skates are also directionally orientated. This helps to add optimal strength and support where needed inside the boot. Unlike any other skate on the market, VH use a patent pending monocrop construction. Now what this type of construction allows the skates to be able to do is number one, give a much, much more direct um, energy transfer. The skate is incredibly responsive and much more durable than the uh, previous construction method of where a lot of pieces of one skate are created and then stitched and glued together. So this one piece construction adds all of those benefits, but most importantly, it allows them to shave an incredible amount of weight off of the boot. And that's the reason for the skate being so responsive, so durable, but most importantly, incredibly light. Now taking a look at the eyelets of the VH skates. The eyelets are strategically positioned to optimise on forward knee position while maximising support. Coming back to the monocroque construction of the skate, because the foam liners, the eyelet cuff and the boot are all part of that construction, it means that the um, skate is able to offer the wearer a much more custom fit in the sense that the eyelet cuff and the um, top part of the skate are able to fasten and wrap around the instep of the foot much, much better. This only, um, not only provides a much more comfortable skate, but it also provides a skate that's going to last a lot longer while you're using it. An area that I feel is often overlooked with uh, picking a pair of skates is definitely going to be the protection that the skate offers. Personally, when I'm picking a pair of skates, I like to base my choice around the fit, the performance, and the protection that, that particular boot offers. VH have done an extensive amount of impact testing on the VH skates to determine the exact amount of uh, carbon fibre layering required to withstand the kinetic energy of a puck moving at different speeds. Now this is the entire structure of the skate including the toe cap. And the toe cap has also been tested to be able to withstand uh, blade impacts which is something that's fairly important to mention um, keeping in mind um, how dynamic and aggressive hockey can be. Another crucial part of the skate that we're going to come to is going to be the foot last. What the foot last is, it's a foot shaped form that's used to determine the shape of the boot during the production process of a skate. The importance of this is that the foot last determines the overall shape of the skate and of course the position that the wearer's foot is going to be in within the skate itself. Now, a lot of skates that you might have worn in the past, um, you might have experienced sore spots, painful areas. This is probably down to the type of foot last that was used in the production process of that skate. The better you are at selecting the foot last, the better the skate will fit a much broader selection of people that are going to be using the skate. Although the VH skate will fit like a custom skate once it's been moulded to the shape of the individual's foot, VH wanted to take it one step further by creating what they call a true custom skate. The way that they've done this is to develop a technique using foot tracings and circumference measurements to be able to give a unique custom fit to each individual that purchases their skates. This means regardless of how unique your foot shape might be, VH are able to accommodate you and give you a true custom skate. The inside of the VH skates features a custom made Clarino liner. This has been hydrophobically treated and also antimicrobial treated, which basically means that it'll be able to fight bacteria and it has um, incredibly low water absorption properties. Uh, the best advantage of this um, liner means that your feet are going to be kept dry and comfortable inside the skate. 
Unlike most skates, the VH skate features a footbed and also an insole. Both of these work hand in hand as a foot support system, but also a moisture management system. The red footbed was designed to stay inside the skate during the baking process, so it's able to mould to the shape of the bottom of your foot. The yellow and black perforated insole optimises comfort and support and also focuses on drainage to keep you nice and dry and comfortable inside the skate. So in summary, the VH skates have definitely been the most surprising skates that I've used. One of the things that I really like about them is going to be the weight factor behind them. Towards the second and the third period in the game is when that really comes into play. You have much, much more energy than you would if you were dragging behind you much, much heavier skates. The protection of them is also phenomenal. The amount of puck shots that I've taken to my ankles that would have normally had me sitting on the benches, I've been able to bounce back on and get straight back into the game. Overall, I've really enjoyed my time in these skates and I'm definitely going to be continuing to use them because personally I've not found anything else on the market that is better than what I have on my feet right now.